All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Abba Father, we thank you for the for this beautiful day, O oh Lord. We thank you for this Bible study, O oh Lord. We thank you for Alistair and his family, O oh Lord. We thank you for all the children and the adults who are attending this Bible study, O oh Lord. We thank you for revealing yourself to us, O oh Lord. Lord Jesus, you are our wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, O oh Lord. Lord Jesus, we surrender to this Bible study for the salvation of souls and for peace in the world, O oh Lord. We ask this in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All glory be to the Amen. Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So we are continuing from what we were um, saying yesterday. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's go to, let's go to James 1, 6 to 7, where we stopped yesterday. So before we start, um, let me ask you a question, okay? What is, what is the meaning of the word, um, what, what, what is the meaning of the word wavering? No looking in the notes. Not allowed to look in the notes. Anyone? What is the meaning of the word wavering? Anyone? Da double minded? Double minded. Double minded. Correct. Okay. Somebody has to remember. Double minded. Okay. See, that was number six and seven. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavers is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Now you see that, okay, you see, uh, you know, you see according to this scripture, what God is saying to us, let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Now, for example, okay, for example, if you have the house, okay, if you have a house, all the documents are on your name, okay, can somebody come and say, this is my house. You know, this house, it's so amazing. It's my house. Can somebody say that? No. What will you, what will you say to a person who says that? No, it's mine. The paper is with no, me. This mine. is the paper. Show the paper. Yeah. And then that's it. Yeah. I, if I were you, I would have gone much extremer than that. If I were you, I would have said, uh, yeah, you think that's your house? Show me the evidence. Yeah. Because the person does not have any evidence to say that that person's house, that, 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 that the house is there. So instead of taking the document and showing them easily, you can ask, where is the evidence? Where is the evidence that this is your house? Praise God. Now, how many times when I am believing the word of God, does the devil come and try to trick us and to try to deceive us and to try to make us believe something that is not in line with the word? Many a times. Many a times he comes. Many a times he tries to do something. Tries to tell us something. Which is not in line with the word. Now the question is. Am I going to waver? And that's why. Is my faith consistent or wavering? Is my faith consistent? Strong or wavering? The Bible says. The angels will come and protect you. As I was saying the other day, he's not only talking about you falling from a high place, falling from the first floor or the second floor and the angels will come and protect you. That is not only what he is saying. What he is saying is that the angels will come. Okay. They will come they will and protect, protect you from you. everything that is not in accordance with the word. Exactly. Or uh, he will come and protect you from anything that is a work of darkness. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, um, praise God. Now, you see, many a times in our lives, okay, we have the word, we have the promise, we have the scripture, we have the truth. But the reason why we don't experience God's plan, God's purpose, is because for us, the situation is bigger than the word. You see, many a times 
we are actually governed by a situation or by a crisis or by what the problem is or by what I'm going through rather than what the word of God says. Because the more I'm going to be governed by what the world says and what the world teaches is when there will always be destruction in my life. God has promised us through his word and said we are blessed. Blessed to be a blessing to the nations. Now a person can hear that word. I am blessed to be a blessing to the nations. A person can hear that word. But not necessarily all those who hear the word actually believe the word. Am I right? Many a times we, we, we think I come for the retreat. I come. I pray. But nothing is manifesting. Why nothing is manifesting? Because you heard the word, yes. You came to the retreat, yes. But you did not believe in it. And, and, and the reason why I'm using the word believe means you did not apply it. No application, no manifestation. It is like I am expecting when you make it least, it is like I'm expecting the idli to come without me putting the batter nor the mold in the steamer. I'm expecting on my table tonight to get idlis. How funny will that be to you? If I, if somebody came and told you, you know, uh, I, I, I am uh, planning to eat idlis uh, tonight. And uh, the person asks, so if you're planning to eat, uh, did you cook it? Cook them? If you ask the person. And the person says, no, I'm just imagining that the idlis will suddenly pop up on the table. How? Is that possible? What will you say to that person? Really? You will ask that person, really? Do you expect for the idlis to come without you doing the hard work? No. No. Then in the kingdom of God, how many times do we expect the manifestation without the application? We expect because believing, always. believing. Yeah, always. Always. You, yeah. You see the word believing. Believing means what? Action corresponding to the message. How many times do we not apply? Do we not? Our action is not corresponding. But still we expect for manifestation. That's foolishness. That's foolishness. If I'm expecting for the manifestation without actually believing in the word, it is foolishness. Because even though God has promised to us and said through his word that we are blessed to be a blessing, even though the word of God says that we are healed, that we are restored, that we are delivered, if there is no faith in his word, there will be no manifestation. Are you understanding? Okay, let's go to Romans chapter 10. Verse number 9. See that? That is. Yeah, somebody was saying something. I can read. Okay, yeah. Romans 10, 11. For the Nine. scripture. Okay. That if, that if those shall confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in things. Thin, Heart that God had raised him from the dead, those shall be saved. Praise God. So he, you see very clearly, he's saying that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe, he said, shall believe. Now you see, many a times we are confessing, but there is no believing. Believing. There are three things to believing. It is my expectation, my imagination, my faith in God, and my application. The action corresponding to the message. Three things. The expectation, the faith in God, and the action which is corresponding to the word of God and to my faith. Three things. Now you see, believing. Okay, here he's saying we confess, but many a times without expectation, without faith, and we confess, but our action does not correspond. Our action does not correspond. If you're saying, today I'm going to go out, okay, I'm going to go out by bus, and if you stay home, you dress up, you get ready, you get ready, you get everything, 
you go to the bus stop and when the bus comes you don't get on how funny will that be will you get to the destination no no why were you ready yes were you standing at the bus stop yes were you ready for the bus yes were you ready for the destination yes but you did not get on the bus so if you are not going to get on the bus you cannot expect for the destination otherwise you'll have to walk that way correct yeah in the same way when it comes to the word we are confessing we are praying we are speaking when i say the word praying many a times we think me talking to god but many a times i say this word prayer is a conversation prayer is conversing with god you say a conversation a conversation a, a a speech for example a speech can only become a conversation when there are two people speaking to each other correct how many times we speak to god we speak to god i'm praying to god i'm speaking to god i'm speaking to god i'm speaking to god what about god speaking to me when did that go we are speaking to god and we're saying lord why are you not hearing he has heard you but he cannot reply to you because the more we are going to speak is the less we're going to hear him because let me tell you most of the time what we speak what well, most of the time what we speak is contradicting to the word most of the time what we speak is contradicting to the word so the more we are going to speak something contradicting to the word god cannot speak now god is a god without evil so if he is a god without evil he will only speak what the truth but the more i'm going to tell him lord i am sick lord i am sick lord i am sick the bible says and jesus i i like to see this as jesus said this on purpose to make sure that people know that god is not blind you know what jesus said jesus said he know what you need before you ask him so god's not blind he can see what you need he knows what you need before you ask him but we think unless i ask him god will never know the more i start confessing the more my confession will bring god on the scene i have heard that word the more i confess if you ask them uh, are you confessing the scripture yeah why are you confessing the scripture i'm confessing the scripture so god i can bring god on the scene god is already on the scene let me tell you when he died for you on the cross he already gave you a solution to the problem he did but what is the answer confess not only confess he did not stop at confess he said believe believe in your heart confess with thy mouth believe in thy heart is god is god now you see that word i f if whenever the word if comes there is a condition am i right you know what is the con yes condition in the scripture the condition is if you confess only only means only doing one thing if you confess there will be no manifestation if you believe there will be no manifestation if you do none of them there will be no manifestation confess with the mouth believe in the heart that's a very big if over there very big condition because we, yeah we think uh, it's only something very small it's just written in few words but actually what is written here should i say is a whole life process right confessing believing confessing believing we don't only stop by believing or we don't only stop by confessing but it's confessing believing confessing with my mouth believing with my heart confessing with my mouth believing in my heart confessing with my mouth believing in my heart now heart means uh, many people think the heart means the organ i have got a, a fight over this saying uh, many a times that uh, or, uh, or people just don't agree and they say the heart is the organ believing in the heart means believing in the organ but is it the organ heart no the spiritual heart is it the heart okay. is it the heart that pumps blood around your body no yeah then what heart did he talk about believing in your spirit a spiritual heart the spiritual heart the spiritual heart in other words is the spirit okay so so he is saying spiritual spirit he is saying believe in thy believe in thy spirit so who's a person 
who believes in his spirit. Uh, I don't know whether you have seen. Have you seen? Uh, you see a balloon, no? If you blow up a balloon, okay? And if you take the balloon, and if you rub it on your hair or you rub it on your uh, on your uh, t-shirt or whatever, what happens to the balloon? Pops. If you stick it to the wall, what happens? Pops. It sticks there, static. Static. It will stick there, correct? Stick there. Now, I don't know about you. When I did that uh, this morning with my sister, okay, I stuck some balloons up on the wall. Okay, since it was a birthday, she was thinking it was magic. See, see, see how the see how the balloon is staying on the wall. Is it magic? No, no. Why? There is science behind it. Correct. Yes. In the same way, when I'm believing in God, and when I'm saying, confessing with my mouth and believing in my heart, and now the more I start confessing and the more I start believing, the manifestation will come. Did it come by magic? No. It, nothing in the kingdom of God comes by magic. Because here, when he's saying heart, when we are believing in our heart, we are actually believing in the spirit. There is nothing called magic in that. When I'm believing in the heart through the spirit, that's when I experience what the Lord has for me. Just give me a second. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Now, as I was saying, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So when God is telling us to believe the word of God and when he's telling us to when he's telling us to believe what the word of God says to us and when he's telling us to believe what the truth says to us, that's when I can experience God's plan for my life. Because the moment I start believing in the word of God and the moment I start living according to the word, see, this confession and this believing is not just like, okay, I believe in Jesus, I confess with my mouth, so today I'm born again. It's not a one-day process. It's not a one-night process. It is an everyday, every moment, every single life process. Praise God. Now here yeah, he's saying that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For, you see that word for? Whenever that word for comes, I like to see that as because, as a continuation. Because with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So the believing in the heart leads to righteousness. The confessing with the mouth leads to salvation. Now salvation is something spiritual. Righteousness is something spiritual. You see, he did not bother saying healing, deliverance, blessing, prosperity, success, victory, all of that. Love, joy, peace, and all of that. Did he, did he say that? Or did he say salvation? Salvation. Why did he say salvation? What does salvation mean? What is salvation? Being Pardon? united with Lord. Being united with the Lord, okay. Protection. Pardon? Protection. Uh, I can't hear you. Can you repeat that again? Protection. So protection. protection. He said protection. Oh, protection. Okay. Okay, okay, no. No, it's not protection. Protection is only a part of it. You know what salvation means? Salvation is a complete package. Everything mm -hmm. included in it. Love, joy, peace, protection, forgiveness, compassion, healing, deliverance, blessing, everything. 
from the kingdom of God, okay, which comes from the kingdom of God is included in salvation. And that's why he did not go on to say love, joy, peace, and all of that. He directly said salvation. So the confession of the mouth leads to what? All the blessings in the kingdom of God. In other words, I like to see salvation as eternal life. What is eternal life? Life with God no, or not? No, knowing Jesus, knowing God the Father and Jesus whom He sent. Okay, correct. John, knowing God, John seventeen three. Seventeen three. Yeah, you were saying that, Sister David. Ah, yeah, same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Praise God. John seventeen three. Correct. So, uh, you see, John seventeen three. It says eternal life. What is eternal life? Knowing God. So eternal life is knowing God. Now, what did Jesus say? When you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, All everything shall else be, shall be added, added unto you. So when, so when I am having the knowledge of God and I am having the knowledge of God, means what? When I am knowing God, when I am operating eternal life, means what? Everything else shall be added unto you. So in, 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 in other words, salvation is eternal life. Eternal life is where I start seeking God and everything else is added unto me. So salvation is everything else added unto me because I know God. Are you understanding? So it can work both ways. Okay. The, the, that's why there are two definitions to it. But you see salvation. Salvation is the complete package. And he said, believing with the heart, heart confessing with the mouth, we are receiving salvation. In other words, salvation, if you uh, bring the word down, it, in other words, it means saved. When you are saved, now you are, when you are saved, you are translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Now a person is translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light, and he is saved, is when he will experience the blessings and the manifestation of the kingdom of Life. And that's when he's saved, and that's salvation. So, are you understanding? Yes? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God says, the Bible says, meditate on the truth day and night, the, and keep it in the midst of thine heart. The more we start meditating on the word of God, day in and day out, day and night, day and night, day and night, the moment we start believing the word of God, day and night, is when I can experience the plan and the purpose of God working in my life. Okay, write down. Write down. God has a plan for me. Is it God has a plan for me or God is a plan for me? God has. God has a plan for me. But to experience it, but to experience it, but to experience it, To experience it. It is through it is through it is through the confession of the mouth Can you repeat? God is a plan for me but to experience it it is through the confession of the mouth and and believing in the heart and, and believing in the heart is God. Okay, so did you understand that? Yes, are there any questions? Any doubts, anyone? So far, did you understand? Yes. yes. Okay, let's read this verse number 9 and 10. From 
Ibili. Alistair Oliver wanted to read it, so he was asking. Oh, I did not see a message. Okay. Yeah, Oliver, you can read it. Oliver is there or? What voice? Your voices are going. Yeah, they both are sitting in the same room. Maybe. Which verse? Um, what's number nine and ten? It's on the screen. Romans. Romans ten nine. Ten, yeah. Ten nine. Romans ten nine and the ten. The, then what read it okay. and what God's leaving messages it can is the revelation faith for salvation which is the message that we purchase preach, preach for the if uh, you publicly declare well, with your mouth that, that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God will raise from him from the, the dead, you you will experience salvation. Then Romans ten is the ten. The heart that believes in him uh, receives the gift of righteousness of God, and then the mouth gives thanks to salvation. Okay, see that. And what is God's living message? It is the revelation of faith for salvation, which is the message that we preach. For if you publicly declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will experience salvation. The heart that believes in him receive, receives the gift of the righteousness of God, excuse me, of God, and the mouth, and then the mouth gives thanks to salvation. Praise God. Now, here he is very clearly saying the word of God, okay, is what gives us salvation. Now, here he is saying that today, here he's saying, and what is God's living message? God's living message. Okay, God's living message. What is it? You know what is God's living message? God's living message is the word. word. And he's saying the word of God is the revelation of faith for salvation. Which is the message we preach. So what is the message we preach? The message we preach is the living message, which is the revelation of faith for salvation. Praise God. So uh, you see, whenever we are experiencing God's plan and God's purpose and God's you know, vision in our lives, the moment we understand and the moment we believe in the word of God, this living message, okay, this word of God, this living message, the moment I understand it and I start believing it is when I can experience what God has for me. So what God has for my life can only be experienced how? Living message. 
थ्रू द लिविंग मैसेज थ्रू गॉड्स लिविंग मैसेज दैट इज द वर्ड that is the word of god now the first condition is the heart that believes in him and believing in the heart leads you to righteousness the second condition is the mouth the, the, the mouth that confesses his word and confessing with the mouth leads us to the gift of salvation now the heart believes okay and because the heart believes eventually it leads you to the confession of your mouth many at times you see the devil uh, he leads us to different deceptions and that's why it is extremely important for us to believe in the heart and for us to confess with the mouth we should never allow any word or any thought or any stronghold to be bigger to us than what god said to us So you understanding? Yes. Okay, write down. Write down. Continuation. Yes, yes. Continuation. The word of God. The word of God. is the message the word of god the message the word of god is the message of the word of god is the message of salvation salvation of salvation next point when i confess with my mouth when i confess with my mouth i am confessing with and confessing with the change of my imagination the change of my imagination to believe to believe what the word of god you repeat from where from the change of my imagination yeah it will come in the chat thomas please god yeah there it is It's come the change of my imagination to believe what the word of god says believing in the heart believing in the heart leads us to believing in the heart leads us to righteousness 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 leads us to righteousness and the more i start and the more i start and the more i start believing in what he has done for me the more i start believing in what he has done for me is when i unlock
is when I unlock. Is when I am. What is that last word? Is when I unlock. When I unlock. Okay. Unlock. Unlock. U N L O C K. <laughs> when I unlock. God's provision or God's supernatural provision. God's supernatural provision in my natural life. God's supernatural supernatural provision in my natural life. Praise God. So did you understand? Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes, praise God. Okay, let me show you one more um, scripture. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Uh, about this believing only, let's go to, um, where is it? Colossians. Chapter, chapter one. Sorry, Philippines. Philippines, Philippines. Chapter one. Verse 28. We have seen this before, but we'll see it from the TPT. We have never seen from TPT. Okay, I like the way it's written. And then you will never be shaken or intimidated by the opposition rises up against us for your courage in God. Courage. You see, God told uh, in Joshua chapter 1, I think from verse number 6 to 9, you see, he told Joshua to be of good courage. Okay. For your courage, the courage in God's word will only prove as a sure sign. I cannot see it. You have to share it. Oh, okay. I yeah. I thought I was sharing it. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how it stopped. Or how. Okay, I thought I was. Okay, thank you for informing me. I don't say anything. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'll read it. Uh, TPT mm -hmm. version. And, yeah, and then you will never be shaken or intimidated by the opposition that rises up against us. For your courage will only prove as a sure sign, sure sign from God of their coming destruction, means the world's coming destruction, and that you have found on your life. So every problem I go through is every new life I find. Isn't that amazing? Every situation that I'm facing is when I start finding a new life. Let's say like God, the, the 29th verse um, says, okay, for God has graciously given, to, uh, given you the privilege not only to believe in Christ, but also to suffer for him. This suffering is not that, okay, God suffered for us, so now I have to suffer for him. That is not the suffering. The suffering is the suffering of where I believe in God and in his word. And the more I start believing in God and in his word is that when I start experiencing God's plan, God's purpose in my life. Are you understanding? Yes. 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 So are there any questions? Would anyone like to ask anything? Any doubts? Anyone? Okay. Over to you, Nationality. No. Mm -hmm. This is all yeah, over to you. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, you can unshare. I can't see you. You oh, can okay. share, can you share? Yeah, 
whatever you have to tell them. Hi, I can see a few new faces today. Press R. Yeah, all right. I press C Fernandez. Okay. Yeah. So good to see you all. Okay, and Alistair, thank you so much uh, for this. You know, you know, I I always love the session week. I really enjoy it. You know, I I don't know. You know how many times, how much ever time I hear, I feel wow. It's again, you know, really good. Hi, Tracy Fernandez, children. Good to see you both. Okay, so Alistair is uh, from you know he's from UK. Okay, he's taking time to takes lessons for us. See you all tomorrow again. And uh, Alistair, you know, wonderful. And um, you know, th this is um, becoming very interesting every day. I'm like, you know, it, if children listen or not, I keep yeah. listening. I'm like enjoying it early. And uh, myself and Devi actually <laughs> always, although Devi left, I think. Ah, uh, no, he, she's there. She's there. Yeah. The two adults. Okay, Alistair, let's. Uh, Pray with Balanka and everybody. Hi, Let's pray and, yeah, there is someone. Yeah, Oliver, Oliver is saying. I, hi, Alistair. Okay. I'm a, okay. a Rocky. I, first time I joined today and I'm really so enjoyed your class. Very beautiful. Yeah. Oh, we used to come for the um, Brother Lawrence's class, no? I saw you, I think, before. Right? I don't know. I can be wrong. No, I called I up know. in WhatsApp some one time ago. Oh. Today is okay, the first because time there was another Rocky only who same name who used to come for another session also. So I thought it was no, no, the same I'm one. The different. Okay. No, no, I am the different one. Yeah, praise God. Praise God. Welcome. Okay, praise God. Yeah, welcome, Rocky. You know, because it's a short session. So okay. And there are children and adults these days. You know, we all join. Mm -hmm. And for the children, we started, but now, you know, we, we all are you know, regulars every day. I've sent you the, the timing. So see you and it's in the evening every day. Uh, if you are from India, it's all, every day it's evening. Um, if you're from any other country, like, you know, the difference will be there. But good to see you and oh. welcome. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let's pray, Alistair. Yes. Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for this amazing session, Lord, that we had today. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us this amazing truth. Lord, as today we have spent the time to hear your word, it is you, oh Lord, who has taught us, you who is teaching us. Lord, you have taught us a lot. You are teaching us. And you continue, Lord, to teach us more and more secrets, mysteries. Lord, we want to know more. We don't want to end, Lord. We want to know more and more and more of your kingdom. Thank you, Lord, for all the good things that you have done, the great things that you are doing, and all the greater things that are yet to come. Lord, as today we have spent this time with your word, it is through your word and through your power and through your spirit, Lord, today we are able to live a victorious life, a prosperous life, a successful life. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the promise that you have given to us. And Lord, we believe in that promise. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray our Father. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Thank you, Uba. Amen. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye.